Hello. Last month I was in Paris. Such an amazing place, a lot of artist events and cozy corners, but now it's time for another city which is impregnated with their own culture and majestic history. Rome. Where to start? I suppose usually people pay attention to architecture, history, streets, blah blah blah, but let me tell you how amazing is food in Italy, and when I say amazing, I mean quality. When my friend fed me on my first day with cheese, meat, oil, tomato, I understood how poor is food in my country where I am from. The gap is incomparable, especially when you talk about ice cream. This place was the best gelato that I ever tried. Without exaggeration, straight after I finished my first, I walked it for the second one, chef kisses. Of course, I tried pizza, spaghetti, but I'll be honest, only once. But it was good. New things, like for example that was flour of pumpkin with some type of fish inside. Well, I will not say that I'll order this one always, but it was good to taste. The atmosphere usually is pretty authentic, but it's loud. Wow. And it was a good lesson for me. My friend told me that I should take care more about food quality, which I didn't before, but I will from now. After all, I don't want even to see our fake cheese and garbage meat inside of our shops. So my final conclusion on this point is Italy, at least Rome, is such an amazing place to eat. Okay, when you hear Rome, what is the first thing that came inside of your head? Vatican? Calisium? Trevi Fontaine? But what if I'll say that you can swim inside of crater of X Vulcan where in 1960 was placed for Olympic Games? Or playing with your nears walking through mountain forest where wild pigs usually love to take a walk around? Destruction Park where we catch low amount of people and that's why we took six times American roller coaster? Cherry on top, sea with clean beaches and amazing sunset. And all in one, it's Rome. <laughs> To be honest, I even didn't know where we're gonna go except some lake. Everything related to that place remind me of some movie frame where you and your school friend drive the car, nostalgic atmosphere, talk about everything. That's definitely gonna go in my memory box. Listen, man. Listen, man. Of course I didn't want to lose the opportunity to swim even if that was October and believe me or not, but water was good. Straight after we found a spot where we could play tennis and <laughs> it was fun. To finish the day in a proper way, we took some delicious ice cream. Magic Land, it was my first time visiting Destruction Park. Long story short, magic is only for kids. Adults, be ready to pay some good money for your portion of magic. Fortunately, my friend had 50% discount, which saved us a lot of money. It was definitely fun. You have a lot of choices, and trust me, it worth to visit this place with your friends or family. <laughs> <laughs> you probably think, okay, can we go now to Vatican? And I will say no. What kind of pleasure to stay in crowded area where most of tourists don't care about history and culture and just need some nice pictures for their stupid social media image in time when you can enjoy Nemi Moon Times, a place with wonderful everything. Everything there will leave you speechless. Let's go through the list. Okay. 
I can't put in words how delicious it was. Just look at my face. And of course, walk through mountains where you should be careful because of wild pigs. And if your impression about them is founded on Pumba from Lion King, you are completely wrong. 100 kg of muscles with 70 km speed per hour who can easily whoop your ass. The funny part is that we meet one, but probably he was too shy and that's why it didn't appear when I recorded. So, name me times 10 from 10. The weather in Rome is warm and even if it was October, the temperature was good for sunbed and swimming. Lack of people, Italian food, sun and sea. This is an authentic pastime where you could refresh your battery. Put aside your phone and just enjoy Mother Nature. Okay, now we can walk around all of these famous places. From my experience, I can say that most of the time things that attract a lot of tourists are scum, but not in our case. Unfortunately, most of these people don't give up about this place, their cultural and historical part. But that doesn't mean that you should share the same approach. I'm not gonna go through the entire world timeline to explain you how majestic these things are for Italy and the entire world actually. Just receive from me confident recommendation to visit them. The last addition that I would like to add, just walk around without any purpose. Rome streets are more than enough for a good pastime. 